Okay, we're gonna look at uh, a, a tie up with the head, you know, the, 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 the head neck tie up here. And we're working on the uh, working on the elbow. What JT on the left here is gonna do with Eric is use his elbow, his right elbow to steer once that collar tie up there. So he's just kind of steering him with the with the the arm and elbow really. So look at the, the back of the head here. See how it's tied up here? Good good collar tie. And the elbow is right along the pectoral. So JT's right elbow is right along Eric's left pectoral. Now what he's gonna do with that elbow, he's gonna move it in and out as necessary to steer. See how he's rolling his shoulders as he does it. Okay? So kind of move him around a little bit. Just turn him around a little bit, JT, and move him around. Just keep him in control of that collar tie right that. But see the importance of using the elbow and hand together to control him. Now with his other hand, JT turn around for us. There you go. Now he's just got a he's grabbing the gi in this case, but you can overhook, you can use any type of a, a uh, arm grip, you know, like that, to tie up and see how you can tie him up. So I'm gonna I'm gonna pan out a little bit here, and don't throw him real hard, JT. But but use that right arm across there and maybe a cross body osoto. So come across there like that. Okay, now let's look at that again. Let's look at that right arm again. He's got that. Look at that right arm. Okay, drop. There you go. Now look at that right arm cross to his left. So JT is going to cross that elbow, that right elbow, to his left as he does that to manipulate. <laughs> Can you see how he controls there? He's, by doing that, he's controlling the whole head and upper body, upper extremities. You can do just about any type of a shoot from there, but you've got a great collar tie because you're not just using your hand, you're using your elbow to manipulate him as well. When you grip, whether it's with a gi or without a gi, you want to manipulate the whole body and use your arms, shoulders, elbows, anything you need to manipulate the opponent's body. So in this case, he's manipulating, moving him around. So move him around a little bit, I'll pan out a little bit. And just how he's moving him around and controlling him. Setting him up, boom, there he moved him right into it. Maybe it was hard to see on this video, but think about using your right elbow as a, now he's gonna use his left elbow, see his cross, and he's using it to cross. But see how that, that collar tie, and he's burying his head in there, and he's controlling with his elbow as well. So that's the, basically, it's using him, steering him with your elbow in a collar tie uh, for a no-gi grappling. You can use this in gi grappling, you just don't happen to grab the gi. But in this case, it's definitely good for no-gi grappling. And this is very good, you got two sweaty bodies, say an MMA submission grappling match, very sweaty bodies, and it's using that elbow to manipulate it. So there we have it, manipulating with the elbow on a collar tie-up. There we go.